Mm. Cold. Cold. Mm. That's okay. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> Happy Friday. It's 5.54 p.m. It's 79 degrees. There are 98 days until the season opener for the Minnesota Timberwolves. I'm going to have to take that graphic down. Or what is that thing? It's kind of like a graphic. But my team signatures, half of those dudes are gone. Out of here. Michael Beasley gone. Wes Johnson gone. Darko out of here. Gone. Uh, who else? Brad Miller. He's gone. Kim's very sad about that. But they picked up uh, Chase, Chase Budinger. They drafted Robbie Hummel, who I don't know if they'll sign or not. Uh, they picked up Brandon Roy. They're going to announce him next week. Greg Steensma is back. He'll be announced next week. And then after the Olympics, the big catch, the big fish that they finally formally announced today, AK-47, Andre Kirilenko. And my wife is very sad about that. But I like having a nice uh, Drago-looking guy. Besides, if you're going to go white, go really white. Right? Am I right? Am I white? But you don't care about basketball. Well, not as much as I do. So I tried making meatloaf for the first time. And it tasted good. But the ratio was off. The ratio was no good. It was too wet. Too much soup. I used one of the big cans of soup. Which I thought, you know, I got a pound and a half of meat. So I'll have more soup to go with more meat. First of all, a pound and a half of meat is way too much to be working with for just two people. But... Even if I had added more breadcrumbs, I ended up with so much, this, this a giant, mm, massive food that I ended up putting it in a pan and it ended up looking more like a casserole than a loaf. And I think that was probably part of it too. Because when you have it done right, you're exposing a lot of it to the heat instead of surrounding it with uh, whatever the pan is made of. I know I should know. It's not Pyrex. It's, it's the, I think it's a La Crusette, so it's made out of... <sighs> Who cares? So, I have a really a large leftover portion, which I'm also, I'm almost considering twice baking, putting it back in the oven and baking it again, to see if I can get it uh, a little more solid. I mean, it doesn't break apart when you cut it, but it's it's close, man, and it tastes fine. It's cooked. It's the right temperature, or it was cooked to the right temperature. But I, I wanted a little more, I wanted maybe kind of a crust on it and kind of a little, little crunch to it, aside from the raw onions that I put in there. I had a red onion left over, so I cut up the raw, the red onion. I'm sure that was part of my problem, too. It's just introducing ingredients that probably shouldn't have been there. But not bad. Learning experience. I'll know what to do next time. The next meatloaf will be even better than this meatloaf, which, to her credit, Kim really liked and was probably being overly kind in how much she liked it. But she had seconds, so... Plus, it's my first experience with uh, HP brown sauce. I should say HP brown sauce because it's from Britain. Totally coincidentally with the big British thing happening right now. Hey, how about that? How about them opening ceremonies, huh? They're happening even as I speak, but I'm not missing them because I'm in America and NBC only believes in showing stuff on tape delay. They couldn't show it live on NBC. They couldn't shunt it to NBC Sports and then show it live there as well as take the late later. 
They couldn't put it on MSNBC. They couldn't put it on CNBC. They couldn't put it on USA. They couldn't put it on Bravo. They couldn't put it on Telemundo. Couldn't show it live anywhere. Because that's just not what Americans want. Americans don't want to watch live events live. They want to watch them on tape delay. Ask everybody on the West Coast. They love tape delay. In fact, I hear people on the West Coast get double tape delay. So not only do they not get to watch it live, they don't get to watch it when the people on the East Coast do. they got to wait three more hours, and then they get to watch it. Uh-oh. Is it 559? It is. And my timer broke. Let me fix that. The reason I have a... Uh... Oops. The reason I have a timer go off at 5.55 is to let me know if I have a clock which is stopped or not. And it has. So now I have to restart it. Ah, <sighs> what a relief. I should have checked that yesterday when I didn't get a page at all. I was like, something's wrong, something's broken. I forgot to check. That's why I have to have it done once a day or I won't remind myself. What's today? 27th. Yeah, it did break yesterday. Well, it's working again. And we can all be happy about that. Uh, this won't make sense to anybody. I'm sorry about that. I'm working and talking at the same time. I'm trying to get out of here. I do kind of want to show up, even though it's tape delayed. I do want to watch it from the beginning. Or do I? I don't know. I'm always of two minds. I love watching it, but I want to strangle Bob Costas. I also think that because they're tape delaying it, like we're going to get some very untimely, long ad breaks. And then they will either pick it up like nothing happened, like time stopped during the ad break, or they'll do that bit where they like they fast forward through 10 countries in 15 seconds. Here's what happened. Blah, 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 blah. And like that's part of the fun of watching. That's kind of like why I want to watch it live. So I could wait. And then pick up a bit torrent from some other country's network's presentation and watch that. But then we're talking about an additional torrent delay, we would call it. I don't know. I don't know. It's worth thinking about, though. Ever since I got the new Blu ray player that will take thumb drives, I want to do a lot more downloading, sticking on the thumb drive put that bad boy into the Blu-ray player and just play off of that. This might be something for that. I don't know. Technological advances. You know, it was the 04 Olympics where I had my first DVR. We had just moved to, literally had just moved to Minneapolis August 1st. And I had just gotten cable set up, so I was still the DVR was still young and fresh and new for me. And since I was unemployed at the time, I could be up at 4 a.m. and watch stuff happening in Greece live because NBC wouldn't deign to show live stuff. Usually it was uh, beach volleyball on CNBC. Good stuff. That's where I fell in love with Faye Wong, who spelled her name W-A-N-G, and I got to make my infamous Thoughts of Wang post on the W. Do you remember that? If you're watching this, you were probably one of the people that was around eight years ago and does remember that. If not, uh, I can send you the link. It's not really worth it, but... Well, it was memorable enough for me to remember it now. <sighs> My flag pin has been turning itself upside down all day. I don't know what it's trying to tell me. All right, that's ten minutes. Well, it'll be ten minutes by the time I wrap it up. We've, we've gotten through another week, friends, and we're all still here. Well, less and less of you are here each week, but for the diehards, and Greg, I have no idea why you think this is must-see TV, but maybe someday I'll figure out my appeal, and then I'll exploit it. Thank you for watching. Uh, we'll all be back next week. My name's Christopher Robin Zimmerman, but you can just call me CRZ if it's easier for you. It's certainly less keystrokes. I love you. I'll see you next week. I hope.